Call to order the meeting of the select board for May 6th. Uh, we will be going into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21. Uh, we will be meeting in room 309. Um, the board will discuss the following. Uh, collective bargaining with the Police Brotherhood, uh, Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the public body and the chair declares so, which I do. Uh, and we will be also under Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3 for the police chief contract and the deputy police contract to conduct strategy sessions in preparations for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. We also will have a DTEA level three grievance hearing, uh, which is covered under Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A1, to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, or mental health rather than the professional competence of an individual or to discuss the discipline or dismissal of or complaints or charges brought against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual. Um, if you have our agenda for the executive session, there are three items listed under uh, DTEA level three grievance hearing, uh, which has the body of conduct strategies uh, for sessions negotiations. Those are in error and um, those are not going to be handled. So I need a motion to go into executive session. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Ms. Brooks. On the motion, roll call vote. Mr. Tattlebaum. Yes. Mr. Mickelson. Yes. Mr. O'Neill. Yes. Ms. Brooks. Yes. Chair goes in favor. We'll be here. We'll be returning into open session as close to 630 as possible. Call the order the meeting of May 6th of the select board. Please rise for a salute to the flag. Please remain standing afterwards. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as we offer a moment of silence for our veterans, both here and abroad, both past and present. Please be seated. Thank you. All right. Please excuse the delay. We just ran a little bit long. An executive session, 6.30, we have appointment. Actually, we have two hearings. Uh, one on install, uh, one new poll along Evelyn Street. I'm going to open up the hearing. It is now open. And for Eversource, we have... Jessica Elder. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nice Good to evening. see you. Nice to see you and all, and thank you for having me this evening. Okay, and the reason you are here is for? Uh, we have two petitions, one on Highland Avenue, Eversource is uh, petitioning to install two new joint owned poles. Uh, this is for a DG project, it's a solar project that's going on, it's for 465 Highland Avenue. Uh, so we're, uh, we have a few other poles going in, but uh, these are two that we need to get in pretty quickly. And the Evelyn Street? And the Evelyn Street is one joint owned pole, and that's for Clarence. It's going in between two existing poles. Um, it is, I can tell you, let me give you the area. Sorry. So it's, it's right near the property at uh, 46 Evelyn Street. So it's going in between uh, existing poles, uh, one, let's see, 148 over one and one, very hard to say, sorry, 220 over three. Okay. And this is for clearance, as I said, okay. sagging wire. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ha open up the hearing for both, both of the Evelyn Street and the Highland Avenue. All right. Um, all right, is there anybody here who wishes to speak in favor of these poll locations other than Eversource? Okay, anybody here who wishes to oppose it? Okay, I'm gonna close the hearing. All right, board members, pleasure. Motion to approve. Both, 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 poll lo yes, both yes. locations? Both locations, sorry. Okay, thank you. Is there a second? Second. 
Okay. As this meeting is now being recorded and available at DCTV on demand at their YouTube, all, roll call, all votes will be by uh, voice uh, since all members are present. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Unanimous. All right. All Thank set. you very much. Thank you. Good evening. Nice seeing you again. Outstanding. Okay, um, under new business, our first item was the um, Frank Gracie recognition. Unfortunately, Mr. Gracie's son uh, got called into work and cannot uh, attend. And also, at the same time, if he can't attend, Mrs. Gracie cannot attend. So uh, we will hold that for another day. Um, next, uh, actually, I'm going to take something out of order. Matt, you're up. I'm going to take you out of order. Appreciate it, sir. Get you home. <laughs> All right. So, um, ma'am, uh, gentlemen, I'm just here to discuss the uh, the parade coming up on the 27th. Um, I just have a quick question for you, Mr. McDonald. As the chair, uh, would you like to speak at the cemetery? Typically, the uh, chair of the select board says a few words. Yeah. Um, I will. I'll, I will make every effort to attend. Um, as far as speaking. If I can get someone to I'd do rather, it. well, personally, <clears throat> I'd rather let the moment speak for itself. Uh, absolutely, but typically and we I, have. I think Memorial Day is not a day for politicians. It's a day to remember. Right, okay. I just, honestly, I just need to update Dartmouth Week. Oh, yeah, so, got it. perfect, awesome. Okay. So uh, we have about 15 community um, organizations that are participating. I've already met with uh, the Dartmouth Police, the DPW, and EMA. Um, we have a follow-up meeting on the 15th to tie it up any loose ends. I have the services again of Mr. Pimentel for the rear of the parade. Mm -hmm. uh, also, side note, I uh, spoke with Parks Department. The banners are going up uh, in the coming days. Um, unfortunately, we won't have any rifles at this year's parade. Uh, ironically enough, I finally got the contact information last year because generally speaking, the joke was they would just kind of appear out of the mist, the revolutionary guys. and. So I reached out, and unfortunately this year they're not going to be able to make it. So we won't have we won't have any rifles along the route. Uh, I've kind of exhausted all of my uh, avenues on that one. So also another side note: on the 18th of uh, May, we, we will be replacing all the flags down at the Elm Street Cemetery. So if the community wants to come out and support that, that would be great. All right. Um, sure. On the banners. Yes, sir. Um, are all the banners in decent shape? Brand new. Okay. For you. The when are they line. going? Are they the up already? Last year. Say again, sir. Are they up already? They're, I, I spoke with Tim. They were. They're, they're going up. Yeah. They were repurchased yeah. last year. Oh, yes. Yep, because they got uh, the, the very old, faded. They're being on Elm Street. Yep. Uh, the wind gets to them. It's all okay. it's salt air. So. Well, I, I know because normally we, when we first did it, we wanted to make sure that they were up. Right. Many exactly. many so, weeks before and a week exactly. or two after. So it, the weather and all that prior to that date is, you know, a little bit worse than say maybe after. So we can keep up a little bit longer right. on, the, on the tail end of that, but I understand your point. Okay. All right, because the idea came from actually New Jersey. Yeah, a lot of towns here in Massachusetts have them. Yeah, a lot of them, uh, ironically, I will just do them for any veteran. Right. Um, and I like how in Dartmouth. Yeah, I was, in, I was in New Jersey for a wedding, and I saw that in yeah. the town, so I figured, you know, at the time, the uh, veterans agent Roy, I was speaking to Roy Oliveira about it, and yeah, it's a great was, idea. we decided to get it done. Yeah, it was unfortunately the only hard part is getting the pictures of some of the older veterans from World War One. Yeah, absolutely. You know, getting the and and the family not being around to, to find that. So, True. but but we know who they are. Absolutely. So that's and that's the most. And important their names thing. will be again. They'll be um, we'll honor their names at the uh, World War One monument mm -hmm. at the end of the parade. <laughs> All right. Also. Um, Hopefully, I will have available a open air car, okay. uh, rag top. Um, okay. And if there's a veteran who needs a ride, okay. I'll be more than happy to take. All right, yeah, uh, awesome. Um, I can also throw out there that uh, every year we have the convertibles meet down at the COA. Um, we have a, uh, a former member of the board, the advisory board, mm -hmm. for me, uh, kind of organizes that, and they come through at the end and get into the parade. So, <clears throat> I'm not mistaken, he has a convertible GTO, which makes me kind of upset so. <laughs> okay all right so, but uh, I'm, um, if if I have the Audi I'll be available excellent okay all right board members any questions okay all right Anytime. thank you Matt Thanks. thank you so Thanks, much Matt.
Okay, uh, next item we have uh, three letters, is it three? Four. Four. Four letters of interest on the, uh, from the planning board. Uh, are we still accepting <coughs> more or? Uh, that's just open until closed or appointed. Okay. So we haven't. We and haven't that's stopped. currently just one seat. All just right. Just one seat, yes. Uh, All right, so is that, and when is it the uh, last day? Do we gonna take? We haven't set a last day. It's been advertised right. since uh, the election and Okay, so I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have it closed, um, and then let's, um, let's, bring, let's bring these people in, set up a meeting with the planning board, um, two weeks? Or uh, I'll see weeks. what their availability is yeah. uh, for see the next. Yeah, see what their availability is, whether it's before. Uh, actually, make it after town meeting. Uh, make it the meeting after town meeting, if, if at all possible. And then that way we can get somebody um, up and running. Is, it, is there a need to wait that long, Mr. Chair? Uh, it's just the availability of the planning board. It's going to be a joint session, so. And they seem to be operating well under four, so. Just as we have in the past. All right, next item on the agenda, we have a special officer appointment of Ryan Mitchell. Um, the chief was going to be here, but I told the chief he didn't have to show up. Um, Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Ms. Brooks on the motion. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Okay. All right, next item we have the SERPED Annual um, Joint Transportation Planning Group. Uh, Mr. Barber has been our uh, appointed uh, representative, and lucky him, he gets to be reappointed again. He looks forward to these meetings uh, a great deal. So, do we so, need to vote on this? Yes, we do. Okay. So, motion I, to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by second Miss Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All Is that a in? 20 year term? 19. <laughs> okay. Lifetime. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. We have next item we have a pathways committee resignation from uh, Doug Roscoe. Uh, do I have a motion to um, motion accept, to accept. With regret. With a regret. Thank you. Made by no Mr. Mickelson, regret. seconded by Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And we, let's get it posted. Me. See if we can get somebody time out. Um, we're going to post for uh, for. I just told Mr. McGinnis to get it posted. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Already ahead of you. Mm. <clears throat> I'm fast too. All right, now, page two, we have the DPW update on the water meter installation project. Mr. Barber. Good evening, Tim Barber, Department of Public Works Director. So regarding the, the cellular meter endpoint installations, um, there has been some delay in, in the installations as the project was supposed to be completed this past December. Um, but the, the installer, Bay State Wind Supply, has, has um, added some extra installers and they're moving, moving ahead pretty quickly. Um, to date, uh, Bay State has installed approximately 6,602 uh, endpoints and the town has installed an additional 440, the water division, um, adding up to 7,042 uh, 7, total completed installations, about 76% of the project, with about 2,160 2, uh, remaining. Um, today, about 3,800 of the installations required appointments in, uh, for interior installations and uh, though most of those are complete, uh, the last few um, the appointment letters have been sent out as of April 13th. So those appointments will be dwindling down, and uh, they'll be finishing uh, those as well as the exterior installations. Any remaining um, customers that haven't responded to the three letters, so they, they, they start off sending one letter, they follow it up, and then the third letter. After the third letter, if there's no response, they do forward <clears> it to <throat> us, us in the water division to reach out 
to the resident to see if they need help with either applying for the for the appointment or getting online with the software or or just some some residents just don't want a, a private company coming into the house so the water division has stepped up and completed these installations um, they are on track to complete all the installations uh, that have responded uh, by the end of June 2024 um, and like I said any outstanding appointments will be completed by the water division and and those those installations the cost of those installations will be credited back uh, from the contracts so. to date we've had about a handful of complaints and I think one uh, positive uh, call commenting that you know they, the installers did a great job and went above and beyond uh, we had two complaints of property damage that were uh, repaired by the contractor um, there was you know we had we had a couple uh, software troubles that in the end you know, the, I think they might have resolved themselves if the software was malfunctioning but never nobody found a, a problem with the software and then we had a we had a couple people that had complained that people were on their property and didn't didn't you know go up to the door and notify them that they were at the property to install one of the exterior units so we sat down with the company and the and the consultant and asked them that any installer that goes on somebody's property you know you should touch base with the with the resident let to let them know you're going to be working on their property because if somebody you know looks out the window and somebody's screwing something into the house it can be alarming so 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 all the you know any additional installations they'll they'll be notifying the residents okay so with a with a proposed or a potential um, completion date of June 2024 um, next month um, what in terms are we now looking at um, starting up the quarterly billing cycle well you you probably know we, we um, our utility billing clerk has taken another position in town okay. so we don't really have a utility billing clerk at this time so there will be, need to be some training and get them get a new clerk online before we move into the quarterly billing okay, because that's that, double the work as as right. biannual billing has that position been posted yet yes it has okay. yeah. in There's no way we can fill that internally it's posted advertise so if somebody internally. it's a union position so yeah. we advertise it internally yeah. and then yeah. if we have no interest we advertise it externally right. yeah and um, so so we we're working with a consultant as well who may be able to assist in that as well if needed okay all right. Well, as these as these meters are installed, they they're operating. Is that how it works? Correct. As, as soon as they are installed and they're they're kind of rectified, they start reading uh, cellular reading automatically. So. Are we happy the way they're operating? What's that? Are we happy the way they're operating? Yeah, there there've been some there's been some errors on the you know with with programming that we've been catching up with and and. and our clerk in the utility billing uh, office in the collector's office. Uh, she's done a great job of keeping up with those and, and corresponding with the water division to make sure, and the consultant to make sure these errors were taken care of. So, yeah. So, it, this will help with a, a seamless way to read these meters uh, as opposed to the old method we had, uh, have now. Present. Correct. So, everything will be real time. Because so, we've had some yeah. issues with yeah. homeowners. Yeah. With, Yep. with meters and bills and uh, large bills yeah. uh, and they seem to be uh, not they haven't been taken care of yeah. and uh, you know it's there's a lot of money involved mm -hmm. so um, hopefully that'll solve any of the issues going forward yeah so so currently um, if if there's a large bill that somebody com has a complaint about or concern you know they they go to the water department they can call the water department or the collector's office and then in turn the water department will do a a 90 day that's the max we can do is go back 90 days um, to read the usage the problem with that is it's a it's a six month bill right so and by the time they get the bill and find out that it's high and, and call it might be might be a couple of weeks might be a month after the read 
So that gives you that gives you maybe 60 days into that billing cycle, which doesn't give you a lot of information. So this cellular uh, software will give you real time, and you can go back. You can go back till the day it was installed, and and read all the usage, so you can keep track of it. So, and I think my experience with this with that meter, personally, was it was wonderful. Uh, I went online, had yep. an appointment uh, at eight o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, I believe, yep. a couple of weeks ago. The gentleman was at the doorbell, door, rang the doorbell at five minutes of eight, and he was out the door by quarter past. Right, and you had an interior ex yes. installation. Yes. Yep. Absolutely wonderful. I did too. And yep. The guy, the guy that nice. did it was on a Saturday, and great job. Yep. Matter of fact, he was from Bristol. When, He's yeah. from Bristol, Rhode Island, so. A wind supplier you work for. Yeah, yeah. but it was yeah, a, the same guy. Yeah, we used a contractor. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm the Jim, same guy. Can, it, but, can you go back into the, the billing clerk position? Yes. What, um, what transpired there? How long has uh, that person been vacated from that position? Um, I think she gave notice maybe a week or two ago. And we've, we've met with uh, the, the, the couple of the departments, and she's, and we're trying to keep her on that, in that position on a Monday, Friday schedule, and then working in the other department Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so the, the position wasn't vacated wholly, it was Completely, somebody yes. moved, moved yeah. around a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just it, usually at the, with the DTA union positions, so once they apply, um, you know, we try to make sure that the offices are covered, so we'll do a transition with some scheduling. We did that in the building department, the assessor's office, and now we're doing it as part of the billing clerk position. So hopefully we can get that. So we'll, you know, our water water division staff will also try try to keep track and, and work with the utility billing clerk to keep everything up to date. You know, they'll be working some overtime to to make that work. But okay. any idea what, what the reason was for vacating? A new position, higher pay. Yeah. yeah. Good reason. You would have done the same thing. Of course I would. Right. Okay. All right. Well, it's good to see. This coming to an end, and see, I'm more interested in seeing the results once the billing starts. And, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean that. You know, six month bills. You know, there was for some people. You know, it's it's a burden. Yeah, so because you, you know you have the budget for six months. It's tough. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's why and, I think. And most of the time, the six months are. It's not calendar. It's. Right. You know, right. It's, it's it depends on summer, it depends on the read. Half the summer, half the fall, yeah. half yeah. the fall, and yeah. the winter. So you kind of get different. Yep. Yeah, because every every section is read at a different month. Right. So yeah. Yeah, my I get half the summer, so it's right. like uh, so they're kind of consistent, but so all right. going quarterly. You know, and, and a lot. You know, most residents get their billing monthly. You know, so that you can budget for it, and it's a monthly right. bill where where biannually can be tough. So. Yeah, I know New Bedford does monthly readings. Do. And I know yes. the commercials do monthly also, correct? Yes. Right. No, they, they do quarterly. Quarterly, yeah. okay. So they'll remain quarterly and the residential will move over to quarterly. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, and then maybe in a few years afterwards we'll do yeah. monthly. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. All right, yeah. excellent, thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, next we have the Petitioned uh, article presentation to the select board. It was on the um, citizen's petition for an additional liquor license. Attorney Bullard. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, thank you for this opportunity. I guess I'm here to answer any questions you may have. I'd like to thank Sean candidly. Uh, I've never had to do a warrant before, and uh, Sean pointed me in the right direction. I'm worried that <coughs> maybe he's leaving because I was a complete headache. Uh, but, <laughs> ah, but, uh, I think I found the reason. <laughs> uh -huh. So thank you, Sean. Um, so uh, I've, uh, he, I'm here on behalf of Farm and Coast. Everybody is familiar with where they're located. Uh, Farm and Coast has been very fortunate over the last six years or so. Uh, they've been able to develop a, uh, a good and loyal uh, clientele, uh, and uh, they would like to expand, expand their liquor offerings. As you know, they have a beer and wine license presently. Uh, they've had a lot of customers ask if they could 
enhance their uh, product line with hard alcohol. Uh, and as I'm sure the board knows, uh, the town is up against its limit um, on all alcoholic licenses. And so I contacted, um, I think it's uh, Michelle and also Ralph Sacramoni uh, up at the ABCC. Uh, and they mentioned, and Anthony Savistano, uh, and they all mentioned that you could do a home rule, a home rule petition, uh, which is what we're attempting to do. I gather it's a, it's a somewhat cumbersome process because even if we're lucky enough to prevail at town meeting, as I understand it, it then goes up to the legislature and we get in touch with our state reps and our state reps will hopefully do uh, what we ask them to do and then the legislature has to do what our state reps want them to do. So it's uh, anything but a slam dunk. Right. Um, but uh, it's a way for Farm and Coast to further meet the needs of their customer base. So I'm, uh, if, if this were vo voted on and supported uh, by uh, town meeting, um, and if it actually got passed, uh, the new uh, offerings, we Farm and Coast would not, it's not in the town warrant, I didn't think it was appropriate to put it in the town warrant, but there'd be no nip sales, there'd be no tobacco products, there'd be no lottery tickets. We want to keep uh, Payton Air Village uh, as clean as possible, and we know that those type of products can result in some litter and some other things. So, um, as I said, I'm just here to answer any questions that you all may have. Board members have any questions? No. Um, with the addition of the all alcohol license, are they looking to expand the premises? Uh, they are, um, and <clears throat> they need to do that for uh, maybe two reasons. <laughs> One is uh, they've had the good fortune of being somewhat successful, and so uh, I don't go there as often as maybe I'd like, uh, but it seems to be quite crowded uh, more often than it used to be. So they, they may expand eastward, um, and uh, if they were to do that, that there, there's a twofold benefit to that. One is the customers would just have more space to sit and dine and stuff, and uh, it would also allow us to uh, market the, the, the kind of the liquor offerings as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think the Bama Coast is being a former retailer, I understand what it means to, uh, to cater to your customers to do a good job, and that's exactly what they've done. Yeah. And uh, I, th I think what they're asking for is reasonable, and uh, I support it. Okay. I have a question, because Oops. we had a citizen's petition last year that was polled. Yes. Um, looking for something similar for a different um, location. Mm -hmm. When they're doing a citizen's p petition, and it, it goes through all the, the town meeting and then up, is it specific to them or it becomes an additional um, all alcohol license that then it is assigned to someone? It's, it's, if I'm not, if I remember, if I'm correct in saying this all alcohol license is particular for this location. Right. When they, if and when they decide to close, that license goes away. Right. So it doesn't become, a, it doesn't become an additional license specific. in town. Okay. So right now they have a beer and wine license. Mm -hmm. Does that beer and wine license then become available to someone else since this yes. is an all alcohol license? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Just clarifying. Because you can't have a beer and wine and an all alcohol because all alcohol encompasses beer and wine. The beer and wine. <laughs> so it's what it's and, called. And uh, Mrs. Yeah. Brooks, in, in the interest of alcohol. full transparency, it was pulled last <clears throat> year because it wasn't drafted properly, me that, uh, <laughs> and uh, so that's why uh, that's why that didn't happen. So, and now you're back, and it's Thank drafted you. beautifully. So oh. thank you. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> it, no, it, it was an explanation. It was an explanation. In order, right? Yeah, well, right. as we go through the whole thing. Exactly. So this was just an explanation as to why, and give us some background information so that we can make an informed decision no, when it comes time to, to make our recommendations. Okay, thank you. We're good. Thank you for all you do because the town's in very good shape and you guys can, you 
Well, you people, not guys, but excuse uh, me. Flat <laughs> flattery, <laughs> counselor, flattery. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. You do. All right. So, um, town meeting warrant. Um, we need to vote on these articles tonight, correct? Yes. All right. So, is there it? Um, is this the absolute deadline tonight on this on the voting for each of the articles? Or do we have any uh, flexibility? We did hold next Monday night in case we needed it. Okay. We did put a hold on. Right. The town clerk would needs uh, the very latest for her to get things out would be the 14th. So, so we have an option if we need to pull some articles that we need for further discussion. That there is there is a possible option if needed. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that if you want to pull them, or you you don't have to vote for them. No, let me let me rephrase it. If we need further discussion before we vote, we do have an option. I'm not saying I want it or not, but an option that we can take it for next week. We we can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but tomorrow, um, the next, I would like to hold a meeting specifically for the town administrator um, position and uh, potential, basically, what are we going to do moving forward? So, um, all right. All right, so let's go through these articles. Um, Article one is the community preservation. This is the administrative budget. They seek to put 35,000 into administrative expenses. Um, board's pleasure. Motion to accept. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, all those, um, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed on the unanimous. Article two, community preservation committee. It's to uh, appropriate monies into <coughs> the of the annual revenues in the amount of 330,000, 110,000 in each of the housing reserve, the open space reserve, and the historic preservation reserve. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Ms. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Mr. Article Mr. three. Mr. Yes. Yeah, one, one note. Uh, I think it's just worth noting here that we've gone through these articles, we've read them, we've heard, we've heard a lot of testimony so that uh, even though this vote's being done quickly, I think it's been done because we are informed and it's an informed vote. Thank you. <laughs> Article three, the Dias Landing D, uh, dinghy storage improvements, looking to appropriate 9,000 from uh, CPC funds to be used for, addition, for an upgrade of the Dias Landing Dinghy storage. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks. All right, any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article four, harbor dredging design and permitting, seek to appropriate $10,000. Um, I'm assuming that's a match. Yes. Yes, okay. All right, boys, pleasure. Motion to approve. Okay, motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Article five, the Ponegatsik Park and Dias Landing Master Plan to seek to appropriate $15,000. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? Being none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Negative, uh, any no's, okay, passes, unanimous. Article six, housing, Dartmouth Housing Production Plan, seek to appropriate 25,000 from the CPC for, to fund the Dartmouth Housing Production Plan. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Mrs. Brooks. Brooks. On the motion, <laughs> any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article seven, Cornell Pond Trail Development, seat the town will appropriate $24,000 from the CPC fund for the Cornell Pond Trail Development as previously uh, stated by Mr. Uh, Buddy Baker. Motion to approve. <clears throat> motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Mrs. Mrs. Brooks. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article eight, appropriation of the cemetery sale of lot fund to appropriate $2,000 from the lot fund for to be spent on 
cemetery purposes in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 114, Sections 15 and 25. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. A motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Mr. Mr. Oh. O'Neill. No, oh, you guys. Mixing it up. <laughs> yeah, mixing it up. You're gonna, the person who writes the minutes is going to be very yeah. pissed. <laughs> 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 on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Article 9, establish the FY 2025 maximum spending budget for revolving funds. Uh, cemetery revolving fund at $4,500, recreation and park revolving fund at $250,000, and the library fund for lost and damaged items at $3,500. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. S uh, Mickelson, seconded by Mr. O'Neill. Uh, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. unanimous. Article 10, acceptance of the Capital Planning Committee report for the funding of the FY 2025 Capital Plan. Items, um, school items, $615,000. DPW Administrative, $185,000. DPW Highway Division, $633,250. The Water Enterprise Fund, $250,000. Sewer Enterprise Fund, $300,000. Solid Waste Enterprise Fund, $286,000. Water Management Enterprise Fund, $34,850. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, thank you. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article 11, appropriation for collective bargaining to fund the collective bargaining uh, between the Town and Police Brotherhood uh, in the following amount for FY 2023, $310,000. For FY 2024, $390,000 from the collective bargaining stabilization to personnel services and $260,000 from the tax levy. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article 12, salaries and stipends of elected officials, only one, town clerk, 98,277. Um, I guess it's, since it's 2025, it will be $102,685. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motions, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Schedule 13, Art which is Article 13, Schedule A, FY 2025 budget, as printed in your warrant, total amount $103,653,491. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by. Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? First time over $100 million, people. Yeah. Uh, okay, Article on the motion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none, unanimous. All right, Article 14, funding sewer and septic betterments. Uh, and see if the town will vote to appropriate $1,151,073.03 1, from the sewer betterment revenue to cover the debt service and to see if the town will vote 32,618 from the septic betterment to an associated fees on the Title V septic betterment loans as administered by the Board of Health. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none, aye. unanimous. Article 15, funding the Solid Waste Enterprise Fund. Total cost, $1,986,680. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. Aye. unanimous. Article 16, 16, funding the Water Department Enterprise Fund. Vote to approve $6,179,325. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none, unanimous. Article 17, funding the sewer department enterprise funds. We'll see if the town will vote to approve $6,009,635. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none, unanimous. 
Article 18, funding the DCTV Enterprise Fund, $615,004. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none, unanimous. For a further breakdown of all the items, just please see the special article warrants. They give you all the breakdown of each individual <coughs> item. I'm just reading the aggregate. Article 19, funding the Waterways Management Enterprise Fund to the tune of $355,534. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Personal bylaw amendments, salary adjustments. <clears throat> Beach rake operated $50. Library tech less than 15 hours. Scheduled and substitutes, $20 to $26. Assistant Recreation Director, $19 an hour. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded <clears throat> by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, non-unanimous. Article 21, the establishment of a long-term capital stabilization fund. Motion to approve. All right, this just establishes a fund. No, no money, just, you gotta make the fund and then fund the fund. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, on the motion, any questions? I'm in. Mr. Tattlebaum. I would like to acknowledge the work of uh, Mr. McGinnis and the Long Range Plan. This is a long time coming, and uh, look forward to, um, to nurturing this account and our plan <coughs> going forward one year after year after year. Thank you. After year after year after year. Thank 50 you. 50 years worth. Yep. All right, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none, unanimous. Now comes time to fund the capital of the statement of funds to a million dollars. Motion. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none, unanimous. Article 23, zoning bylaw. This is the ADUs of the accessory dwelling units as previously presented by our town planner. Motion to approve. Motion made by, oops, I think I went ahead on once. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Is there a second? I'll second that. Second by Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Article 24 is the amendments to the wetlands bylaw provision, provisions as presented by Mark Garrett. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All, right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none. Unanimous. Article 25, 247 Russell's Mills Road, the old police station site sale of the land. This will vote to authorize the select board to sell the property. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Seconded? By Mrs. Brooks. Seconded by Mrs. Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> so enthusiastically. Yeah. All right. On the motion, any questions? I would like to. Uh, Mr. Tattlebaum offer just a comment. Um, <clears throat> this was language put together by our town council, and our experience is that when you sometimes you send something off to the state uh, for approval, it comes back as something that's not exactly as you wish, but uh, it always comes back as something that's legally acceptable by the state and by our own. And um, it does leave, um, as I understand it was discussed last week, it does leave us as a board the ability to be flexible and to be sensible and to put together a, um, a package that makes sense. Uh, and um, I think it's a, uh, we're leaving it up to town meeting to give us that flexibility. Um, we don't have to sell it. Um, if it doesn't meet all these standards we create, and I look forward to uh, crafting something that makes sense and pleases everyone that we try to develop it to, a, uh, to sell it to the point where it's acceptable and it's a uh, great project or maybe it doesn't happen at all, but I think we do have that flexibility. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. On the motion, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? None unanimous. Land acquisition, Article 26, Pascamansa River Aquifer, and this will vote to authorize the Board of Public Works as the Board of Water Commissioners to acquire up to a total, up to a total cost of $815,000 for the drinking water supply protection purposes and further to appropriate the sum of $350,000 towards the cost of that acquisition. Motion to approve. Yeah, hold on a minute. Okay, all right. 
And then it says here, to further clarify that uh, no portion of said appropriation shall be borrowed or expended until and unless the Board of Public Works has received private donations or gifts and acquisitions in the amount of $215,000. And to further clarify that no portion of appropriation shall be expended unless the Board of Public Works separately expends towards the acquisition of at least $465,000 in funds stemming from total of said do donations, gifts, grants, or community preservation funds, which the expenditures of community preservation funds mandates. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Ms. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Article 27, the citizen's petition for the all-alcohol beverage license. You heard from Attorney Bullard. Quite, um, on the motion. Motion to uh, approve. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Is there a second? By Mrs. Brooks. Second by Mrs. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Mr. McDonald, before yes. you continue, the remaining articles are charter amendment changes. Since I have sat on the charter um, review committee and Mr. O'Neill has sat on the charter review committee, I would like to ask um, Mr. Tattlebaum, and I ask Mr. Tattlebaum to second these, only because Mr. McDonald has also sat on the Charter Review Committee. So the motion would have to come from the left side of the table. Thank you. Okay. A lot of pressure. That's all right. You're used to it. Thank you. Article 28, Charter Amendment. This is the omnibus corrections. This is probably the biggest one and probably the one there, are, there will be presented uh, corrections to grammar, Scribner's errors, and syntax, syntax punctuation. punctuation. Basically, when it was typed up and presented, um, there was some grammatical errors. Having a teacher, um, an educator, being part of the Charter Commission, uh, a lot of this was pointed out. So it's like doing my final report, get it graded on. So this is just a simple correction to the language where maybe select board was <clears throat> in lower case, should be in upper case, where the town of Dartmouth was in lower case, and maybe Dartmouth was spelt wrong um, or something like that. So that's what this is. Board's pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? David. A second. Um, all right, motion made and seconded by Mr. Tattlebaum. On the motion, any questions? Mr. Question. Tattlebaum. Uh, I, I realize we're not voting on, we're voting on something we haven't seen. Um, this will be presented uh, for the first time when we get the printed warrant to, uh, mailed to us? My understanding is, yes. is it's still, a lot of it is still being um, worked on and it'll be sent to town meeting uh, in the appropriate manner so that when you see the changes, um, the Scribner's errors, the punctuation marks, um, it'll be in color? Nope. No? Nope, that was changed that color was changed. to okay. print it. We were one. told that it was uh, too costly. So Mr. Um, Could have notified me, I would have printed it at my office. Okay, Attorney Stavistano um, has created documents that will be in a gray highlight strikeout and changes in addition will be shown in a gray highlight bold italics. Okay. So it will be. Shouldn't this boat be somewhat qualified in some form, the fact that we have not seen it, but we, we, uh, we, we approve the fact that we'll, we, we, we uh, accept the fact, we'll see it for the first time with everybody else? Well, if you want. We can hold these We can hold off section. on the Charter Commission until next week, as long as we, if we can get the paperwork beforehand. That's. I, I, I'm not saying that's necessary. Can we, can we craft our vote uh, so that, um, well, are we going to have it? No, next we're week? not. We're not going to do a contingent vote. We're not going to do a contingent. We're going to have it next week. We have to have it we're next have week a meeting next because week. next week's um, the sixth. So next week would be the thirteenth. Thirteenth. Yep. And um, Mrs. Haskell Arruda needs to have it on the fourteenth to print. My birthday. So we will have it this week. Your birthday. Fourteenth. Okay, so, so so can we wait a minute? We have, ask, to, so we have something. to have it. Can we vote on some some of these amendments, the charter amendments? I'm happy to hold all remaining gonna, warrant articles if you want hold, to. We're going to so hold off until it. we get all the paperwork. Yeah, but some we could vote for. 
and it would eliminate the uh, un we can, we can, unnecessary we can pass time. This one. We can pass this one. You know what I'm saying? Some are fully written in this warrant. Yeah. That yeah, one isn't. Well, it will be so in the a, on the bus will skip a schedule B. Week. Maybe we'll come back to it later. But it No, it'll be a schedule B. So like schedule A is printed, it will be a completely different handout in the packet to be mailed. Okay. So a, a contingency vote is the some who don't not want to We're consider. not going to do a contingency vote. Okay. We're going to vote yes or no. So, all right. Um, so we'll skip Article 28. Mm -hmm. Article 29. Um, this is what it'll show in the article. This is the Charter Amendment, the Board of Assessors. And basically what this does is this changes the uh, current way the Board of Assessors are... Um, are created from an elected board to an appointed board. Board's pleasure. I, I'd like to say that I certainly am very much in favor of this. And uh, have we considered um, uh, the rollout of once this is accepted? How I know it has to be voted on as well, but it's just the, the next election, it's, it becomes. Uh, and there's no election. It's just the. Uh, it, it won't be an election. Right. So is, if we consider the rollout. No, it, the way it happens is that if town meeting approves this, then this goes to the voters yeah. as of, it'll go April to the voters in April 2025. Yeah. And then after April 2025, that's when the language comes in and the board, there will be no board of, the board of assessors will either wait out their term and then as they'll either do, work their term out, each well, one. And I'll do and respect. As, is this your as opinion the or is this something up, you've heard? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Anthony Savastano said that as of July 1st, 2025, this is an appointed board. We would then appoint the members of the board. So, uh, so but is, we're going to have to establish some kind of a rollout? Well, whoever's finishing at that point. So in April 2025, mm -hmm. On the, that, at that election, mm -hmm. there will be one of the members of the assessor, Board of Assessors will actually have their name on the ballot to be voted into their office. Mm -hmm. If this is approved by town meeting and it goes onto the ballot in April 2026, this ballot question will also be on the same ballot. And what will happen is this person will have then been voted in for a three-year term. So when it comes time to appointing that person, we will appoint that person to a three-year term. The two remaining people on the board, should they want to continue, they would be appointed for the end of their term, a two-year and a one-year. This is your understanding, I'm, I'm Attorney Savastano? This is Attorney Savastano. Okay, so there is a, there is a There's timeline. a different so there's rollout for timeline. every one of these. There's a timeline. Yes. For each each one of these uh, uh, officers, it's the same thing as the Board of Health. Okay, yeah. is that way you understand us? Begin us that way too. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. So I still need a motion on this. Motion to approve. Okay, motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by. Second. Mr. Tattlebaum, on the motion. Any Thought questions? Thought I didn't. Wasn't ready, didn't you? Huh? That's okay. No, hey. we're, we're not. All those ready. in favor say aye. <laughs> aye. Aye. Opposed none. Unanimous. Next one is the same thing, but this time the Board of Health, removing it from an elected position to an appointed position. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Second. Seconded by Mr. Tattlebaum on the motion. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Unanimous. Hold this one off, this 31. You want, all right. So you, next can, week. Yep. Well, you can either hold it off or you can choose to, next week. whatever you want to do. I'd like to, I'd like to discuss it. If we can. Well, then discuss it. Okay, Article 31, the Charter Amendment, the Superintendent of Public Works. What this does is this, the first sentence of Section 4.5C to be deleted and replaced with the following, the Select Board shall appoint for a term not more than three years and shall fix the compensation of the Board of Public Works, shall exercise and perform under its supervision and direction such powers, rights, and duties assigned to it under subsection B as time, as, as it may from time to time designate. All right, discussion. Um, Mr. Tallahassee. <coughs> I recognize that months ago, uh, this became this issue became before us, and uh, we were all quite um, concerned about uh, how the compensation issue um, uh, rolled out. And as a result, um, that's why this uh, this amendment appeared. Uh, certainly, in the months, many months following that time, a lot a lot has happened. 
Uh, we've had a, um, what I would call a rigorous and qualified uh, board um, uh, trying to do the right thing when it comes to the Department of Public Works. There are issues there of structure and, um, and responsibility uh, that, I, that, that need to be addressed, and they've expressed an interest to do that. And I think that any vote to change uh, anything now would be, I think, a detriment in terms of let them go out and do their work and come back to us. And I would like to recommend that we table this and it, it's removed from the, uh, from the uh, warrant and give, give the board a chance to come back to us. Um, and I do realize that if it becomes a charter change, uh, then we have to, it's complex. Uh, I do realize that they may, uh, many, many of the changes they may present to us uh, won't require a charter change, but I'm hopeful because um, there's, a, there's an aggressive understanding of we need some reform over there and let them do the work and come back to us. And I, would, I, would, I think any kind of adjustment like this is premature and uh, give it a chance to come back. I'm just going to ask that um, according to um, Attorney Savastano, we cannot hold, as a board of selectmen, we cannot hold an article back from being on the warrant. We can vote in favor of the article or not in favor of the article, but we at this level cannot pull an article. However, I would ask that we hold this article because in research, uh, we had researched that the name of the position had been changed from superintendent, and I was given an update where the name of the position was changed to director. So it should be director of public works, not superintendent. So so you're saying that we can't remove it from the warrant? We but cannot we can remove it, but we could vote it down. So when it would go to town meeting, whatever our vote is, that would be the vote, but it would remain on the warrant. Town meeting will still have a vote to vote still yes have or no? Vote. Yes. Yes. Right. Even and people do look at that and say, you know, why did they Correct. vote in favor or not in favor? But it might be helpful if next Monday night when we're discussing this, to have Anthony Stavistano here. All right, we'll hold, we'll hold off on Article 31 until next week. Article 32. Mr. Mr. McDonald? Yes. May I just say a few words? I promise I'll be short. Okay. First, my name is Robert Almy. I'm the chair of the Public Works Board. Thank you for hearing me. Uh, the board met this morning and uh, approved a memorandum to your board and to the uh, Charter Commission, which I hope you'll take a look at. Um, and the other thing that I want to point out, uh, I want to expand on Mr. Tattlebaum's comment. We have in our budget to do a rate and efficiency study for the Public Works Department. We hope to finish that in, during the summer. That result has to come back to your board because that's the way things should be done. And so I will commit to bringing that back to the board for discussion. We can discuss the kinds of changes that are appropriate for the Public Works Department. The work that's been done on this warrant, you will, that language can be corrected. You'll still have that language, the opportunity to change it, and you have fall town meeting at that time, if you choose, you could put this language on the fall town meeting and still make the election in the spring, which is the overall objective here. So by causing a, any kind of delay here, it's not going to delay the overall process. I'll let the memorandum that we sent to you speak for itself. Thank you. Okay, we, did, you we did receive the memorandum. So. Thank you for your consideration. All right, so we're going to hold off on Article 31. Article 32, Charter Commission, regarding the Dartmouth Historical Commission, it will be reducing the number of members of the commission from 9 to 7 with their approval. <coughs> on the, on the uh, article. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by. I'd like to second that motion. Mr. Tattlebaum. Thank you. You're the only one who's going to second it. Well, not really, but. On the motion, <laughs> any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 None unanimous. Any opposition? None unanimous. 
I can make a motion to second for discussion purposes only, so just to let you know. All right, Charter Commission, Parks and Recreation. All right, this one here is to see if the town will vote to submit to the voters the approval of the following the amendment, that the last sentence of subsection 35A be deleted and replaced with the following. The persons receiving the highest number of votes shall be elected to the board. Okay. Would you like me to explain My, this one? Uh, go ahead. You can take it. <laughs> All right. I will explain this one. This one is what I would call an article of embarrassment. So a previous charter commission had put forth um, that the Parks and Rec would be elected into their seats like the current board of um, the select board. So they would run for individual seats. That was discussed at a town meeting. That was put on a an election and the vote has approved it. However, it was never given, the information was never given to the town clerk. So in the years since then, the Parks and Recreation Board have actually been elected to their seats as this charter would now read with this language. So this year you may recall there were two people that ran and there were two seats open. If there had been three people that ran and two seats open, they would have run as a pool of candidates and the two highest vote getters would have gotten the vote. So, as I say, this is a, an embarrassment because the Parks and Rec have not been elected to their seats in that manner. And so what we're doing is reversing a former decision. But, um, so next year, if this passes at town meeting, Next year, on the April 2025 election, whoever is running for the Board of Parks and Rec would have to run for their seat, because that is the current language in the charter, and on the same day of voting would be potentially the, this article that says that from that day forward, they would run as a pool of candidates. So in other words, the, the current park board is, is elected like the school department, like mm -hmm. the school committee, and when they should have been elected like the select board. Mm -hmm. That's what it comes down to. So, so we're, we're correcting something that should have been done, we're, basically. What we're doing is we're adjusting the way they're elected to the way the practice has been for electing. We're correcting it, oops. Okay. Do I have a motion? Motion to accept. Second. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Mr. Tattlebaum on the motion. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. None. Unanimous. Charter, admit, Charter Amendment, Article 34, Select Board. This is to change the way the Select Board is voted on instead of per seat. This will be um, two years. Um, Two, two election cycles, top two vote getters. The third cycle, the single vote, they're on their own. So this, it'll be the select board will no longer be voted uh, elected as we are now. It will be elected like the school committee. Top two vote getters in the two, two years when there's two seats open. Pleasure. Motion to accept. <clears throat> Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Tattlebaum. On the motion. I have a couple of comments. Mr. Tattlebaum. Uh, <clears throat> I made some calls to a handful of very cooperative uh, town, assistant town administrators getting some feedback in different towns, and, uh, and um, not one of them is doing it. There are similar towns in our size. Not one of them is doing it by a lot as we do it now. Um, and they, they have done it in the past or... A lot of these people who work there have worked for other towns and done the past. And um, I got a resounding support for changing the way we elect the select board from these different towns. I'm not saying it was not a scientific survey by any means, but I tried to find towns that were similar to ours in a very positive uh, way. I, I personally think that um, that it will it will um, you run the risk of having at least two new members sometimes. But on the other hand, I think you're going to get a bigger pool of people who are willing to go and. Uh, Mr. McDonald, I thought a lot about last week. You spoke about you know, running on your record. I think if you're running and get the highest amount of votes, then you've got a good record. People like what you're doing. So it doesn't eliminate that in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, running um, 
it, it just I think it just reinforced well, it the has. fact that that votes. It never has. It was always the the highest vote getter for for the lot. No, but I'm talking about if, if for two spots in, in the in, yeah, at but, large. I think that. Right, but say it still we, satisfies that comment that Mr. McDonald made regarding standing by your record. Because we also have votes with, with one person for re-election. That doesn't deter from 20 people showing, mm -hmm. getting votes and run against that person. Mm -hmm. So that's the way we did it before. So nothing seems to me, it, why, why change it? If it's, if it's not broken, leave it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, way. I think you, now one of the th downsides is you get some elections where there is no competition. Right. And I, I think that that's not but necessary. But that, this, this amendment, I mean, this charter amendment, is not going to guarantee you that process mm -hmm. at all. No? Just remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my comment. All right. I'm, I'm lost here. Did, did I, was there a motion? Yes, there was a motion. Yeah. Yeah. We yes. need to vote on okay. it. Okay. Sorry. I'd be I got derailed. God. I'd be interested in any comments from my colleagues before we vote. Anybody else have anything else to say? I said my piece last week. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Me. Passes four to one. Charter Amendment, Library Board of Trustees. This reduces the number of library trustees from six, for whatever reason, to five. Motion to approve. Motion, and this is with their blessing also? No. No, it's not. No, now it is no longer. <laughs> it's no longer their blessing. Okay. I have a second on the motion. How did that happen? All right. I am, who knows? We had their blessing, and now we don't have their blessing. That's not, that's not very nice. Well, you know, they turned the page. Oh, um, on the motion. Yes. Made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Mr. Tattlebaum. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Unanimous. And that concludes the warrant. Great job, people. Well, now we go to special town meeting. Now, yeah. yes, special town meeting. Let me get past Schedule A. There we go. All right, special town meeting. Article 1, special town meeting, community preservation, FY 2024, community housing and historic preservation. Um, to vote to transfer later appropriation monies from 2024 unrestricted fund in the amount of $60,000 to the revised uh, fiscal year 2024 budget. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article 2, appropriation of previous approved capital project to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $57,736.97 from the Water Enterprise Fund retained earnings for the purpose of covering the costs incurred as part of the June 2019 special, and special annual in town meeting by Violetta Wells. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none unanimous. Article three, special town meeting, appropriation for previous approved capital project to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $359,804.84 from surplus revenue for the purpose of covering the costs incurred as part of the October uh, 2019 fall annual town meeting for the Veterans Memorial Stadium construction project. Motion to approve. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none, unanimous. Okay. Just need a motion now to uh, sign both the, annu the no. no? Just the special. You haven't voted on all that. Oh, that's right. All right, we need a motion to sign the warrant for the special town meeting. Uh, so moved. Moved by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, none, unanimous. So um, that's the only one we'll see. Mr. McDonald. Yeah. Okay. Annual town meeting next week. So we have, so we have two articles to, that we uh, did not vote on? Just one. Here's no, two. we had two. 20, 28, 28 which is the omnibus, and 31, so are we which leaving is the that board of next public. week? Yes. The 13th. And, and, and we'll have a regular meeting and include yes, that in? Yes, we have a meeting next, next Monday. Okay. We will, no executive session. We will put no executive session, at least unless something comes Crazy, up. Yeah. We can talk about it. I don't know like what you want to have on there. Like. All right. I'll I'll discuss this with Mr. McGinnis as to whether we have something. 
I don't exactly. If it I is, it'll be very short. Hopefully it's not. You don't need it. You have three meetings in a row that way. I know. Well, we're lucky. I'd like to see you at least once a week. There's a charge. Well, I like to, There's a charge. I'd like to see you. I don't know charge. You have to see my agent. No, it's, it's a freebie. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll have, um, we'll put those up, up front, the first two, first two things we take care of for that night on mm -hmm. the regular agenda. And then we'll go to the um, town, town administrator discussion. Okay. All right, uh, next item on the agenda, we have the memorandum of agreement between the town of Dartmouth and the police brotherhood. Mr. McGinnis. Uh, yes, this is uh, for the EBOA for the uh, Police Brotherhood contract, which uh, includes patrol officers, sergeants, and lieutenants at our police department. And uh, it is for FY23 through FY25. Uh, it's taken some time to get the contract resolved. Uh, we feel uh, we finally have come to an agreement, and we think it's fair for both parties. Uh, it provides for a 3% COLA for the officers. There's a number of other items in the contract I can go into in detail if you if you need but um, it uh, makes some minor changes to the uh, pay scale for sergeants uh, and also just some stipends it also allows uh, for the brotherhood to support the town if the town were to decide in the future to um, withdraw from civil service um, not that the town is looking to do that right away but it just uh, there's been issues with hiring uh, due to civil service. I think anyone who's in the know reads about it. It's been in the news quite a bit lately. So uh, this is not something, like I said, the town is looking to do immediately, but the, the uh, Brotherhood would support it as part of this MOA. And this will close all contract negotiations for our units? Yes, in, so we'll be, have all contracts settled. we start up again? Yes, for FY, starting <laughs> at FY26. Okay, all right. Coming around the bin. Yep. All right, so I need a motion to approve. Motion to approve, gladly. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by? Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, on the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, none unanimous. Okay, town administrator update. Uh, uh, yes, hold on one second. Your page. <laughs> All right. Um, just an FYI, the town's local receipts for FY24, the current uh, fiscal year we're in, are coming in over what we budgeted, which is great. I know people look at the state, and the state's having some trouble meeting their estimated local receipts. Ours are almost uh, $750,000 over what we budgeted. Wow. So uh, the town Wonderful. is, uh, we're very uh, fiscally responsible, and I think this shows that. Uh, beach stickers have been uh, for sale online. To date, they've already sold 602 stickers online. Um, and also this year, the uh, concert passes for Upon Against It Landing will be also be available online for purchase. So, uh, the Recreation Center Building Committee has uh, gotten together and selected an owner's project manager, uh, Pomeroy Associates. Uh, you may recall that name; they were the OPM on the police station construction. Yep. Uh, so uh, the committee has selected them. The next step is. Uh, formalizing a contract for the board. We'll have that at a future meeting. And then uh, once Pomeroy's on board, they'll start to select the design firm. Uh, we have a uh, kind of minor but big internal. We have a board and committee database update, which <coughs> updates all of the boards and committees from a current antiquated database to one that's more streamlined and efficient. Uh, some board and committee members may have been contacted as part of the reorganization, um, but just to confirm, some information, uh, but that is all up in line. It's gonna really streamline things internally for us and also for the public when they, uh, as we look for um, people to volunteer to be on boards and committees. Uh, Dias, Land Dias Landing Marina construction bids uh, were received last week. Uh, we received a number of bids and the bids were all uh, lower than expected. So uh, we hope to have a contract for approval in the future that is under oh, what was great. budgeted. And lastly, the library always has great statistics. Uh, so last fiscal year, this fiscal year we're in, they've had 115,000 visitors to their library. So they do quite a bit of business there. It's a lot of people. It's wonderful. That is all I have for that. Um, we need to sign that contract. Yes. Yeah. Here it is. There you go. Uh, what was the, not the previous item, the previous, the, the three, three items from last? The building committee? The Recreation Center, uh, nope. Beach Stickers. Boards and Committees. Boards and, com boards and Committees. 
Um, looking at the town's website and looking at the makeup of the elected officials, each, each elected official has a town email which people can contact them. As far as the other boards, the appointed boards and whatnot, do, would it make sense to have the chairman of each board have their email? I know it changes over a year, every year, and that might be logistically something um, strange to do because generally most, if you look at all the appointed officials, um, they don't have email, there's no email access can there be a, to contact them an email to the that board? Oh, right. Uh, well, uh, my recommendation, we hit, this is the discussion that comes up regularly. Um, pretty much all of the boards or committees have a staff liaison okay. that has a town email address. I would recommend continuing to use that staff liaison email because people change, people don't all check their emails. If we create email, a, and we also have to, you know, for town emails, we do pay for the email addresses. So. Um, I, in my experience, they have not been well utilized. It's, it's better to have someone that has an email address that's the liaison to the board or committee that can manage the emails and then forward them to board and committee members to their either right. their personal address or somehow get them the information. All right, so then would it be, would it make sense then to have some kind of a statement saying that if you wish to um, email any of the board members, you know, this is the email to use? Uh, uh, we can put that on the websites, yes. Yeah. Or they would just click to email the board and we would have it directed to Yeah, or staff. just, yeah, email board, you know, type of thing. And just to, you know, all right, this is, I already said, you need your signature. All right. Okay, all right, great. Thank you. Uh, old business. Old business. Uh, no new updates on any of them. Bliss Corner, Local Choke, okay. Broadband, or Title Five. All right, we have the minutes of April 8th to uh, review. And questions, did anybody have any questions on them? Do I have a motion, motion to, approve? to approve? Motion made by Mr. Mickelson. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Tattlebaum. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Unanimous. Select board updates. Mr. Tattlebaum, do you have anything? Uh, I would uh, like, uh, when it's reasonable and hopefully as soon as possible, to ask the uh, new building inspector to come before us to give us an update how he's doing. I have him scheduled for the 20th. Thank you. And then hopefully from there we can then uh, do some more planning uh, in terms of getting some input from uh, contractors and um, get, that focus, get that focus group right. up. But the first thing, and do, we, do we need to um, ask him, uh, instruct him as to what we're looking for, or is it just an update or anything specific that we should be asking him for? Well, number one, see how he's... Any How he's making out so far, you know, whether or not he... <laughs> well, I think we ought to verbalize that to him. Well, I think, we, I think we need to just get an update on to how, if there was any backlogs, if he's cleared up any backlogs, how the inspections are going. Um, Maybe it, some suggestions of changes. Too. Right. Who knows? Right, type of well, thing. I think we should send those send well, that I think out Mr. to previous. Yeah, I think Mr. McGinnis knows exactly what we're looking for, and he'll relay that to uh, the, the, the commissioner. Thank you. And then I do think that we need to make sure he's aware that we want to set up uh, a forum with the folks who actually use the portal. So of uh, all the uh, builders right. or even the homeowners residents who are looking to get a, even a swimming pool, you know, how is that going to get that? And then we need a third meeting, which would be with the other, you know, the building department, the planning department, the zoning board, the board of health, DPW, all historic commission, all of those that have an input somewhere along the line in the online permitting process to come together and talk about what makes sense. Well, that and that and meeting meeting timelines. Timelines, right? Right, because there That's are a third because big there group. are there are there have been a couple of instances where there's been some timeline lags that need to be addressed and taken care of. Um, and those are readily, you know, and it becomes, you can see that yeah. because the timeline is there, 
but that's something that. Uh, right, but it becomes an issue if one of, right. if a committee, if a board is holding it up for something and then someone right. panics and pushes it through. Right, because there are some, have have because the commissioner, dialogue. the building the building department is under a timeline, but also timeline is, the historical commission also has a timeline. So, especially when it comes to a demo permit on a historical home, they definitely have a timeline. All right. Um, My only other second comment would be mm -hmm. that, uh, <clears throat> Appropriate, I think it's put way till after town meeting, but uh, the issue of um, heavy duty plastic shopping bags and nips bottles is something I'd like to bring forward, and I would like to think it's appropriate to do that once the town meeting's over. Well, we can do that. Maybe if you want, you can create the articles for uh, fall town meeting and see what happens. We already mm -hmm. have one on, uh, uh, I, on I the think books. it's uh, put oh, together. We have thin film. Right. Right, put, he's put looking a, for thick film. Right, and put together maybe a little forum and get some people's input and move on from there, and, and with the expectation to move to fall meetings. Fall okay. time meetings. So. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Mickelson, you have anything? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, that's wonderful. That's you sure? I'm good. I'm glad. Thank you, Mrs. Brooks. Appreciate something. Appreciate it. No, I'm not belly aching tonight. Okay, good. Save it. You have nothing? I have nothing tonight. Mr. O'Neill? Uh, Sean, yes. <clears throat> did we send um, the CVs that we got for? Uh, for the planning board to Christine, the um, you know the resumes. Uh, does she have all, all of the? Uh, no, uh, we haven't. We've not distributed those yet. We we can. That's the, the board was deciding tonight what to do once yeah. once that's let's, done. Let's let's whatever we have. Let's send it to them anyway, so they can begin to take a look. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have nothing. So, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion made by Mr. Mickelson, seconded by Mrs. Mrs. Brooks. Brooks. On the motion, any questions? All those in favor say aye. Opposed, none. Unanimous. Aye. Good night, everybody. Thank you.